this is the Thikus N5500. Um, it comes out with these three screws and then slides out in the front this way. Um, the first thing I did was upgrade it so it's got two sticks of uh, DDR3 SO DIMMs. Um, so now it's got 4 GB instead of 2. That makes installing Synology a lot easier. Um, the next thing I did was splice the connector and replace the SSD with a um, 32 GB SSD. That's a SATA DOM basically. And that's 32 GB instead of 1 GB. Other thing I did was get a 2 GB uh, USB flash which is now uh, the boot drive so you take the Xpenology boot drive from the website from github download the latest release and uh, write it to this with Rufus and then um, yeah you no longer need this or this uh, make sure UEFI boot is selected because we are using the latest version and uh, yeah that's about it boot with the USB boot a UEFI boot and uh, set USB HDD to uh, boot slot 1 and uh, that should be it so I'll quickly run you through um, this is a uh, Synology. Uh, let me set this up. So this is Synology 7.0, which is the one I've selected. Um, if you go into Package Center and you select Advanced Media Extensions, that's the one you want to make sure that you've got a successful boot. So when I click open, you can see that um, HEVC is installed um, and it's up to date. So if you get this part, then you've achieved success basically. Um, if it asks you to log into Synology account, you'll need to create a Synology account. But uh, you need the correct serial and the correct MAC address. The default scripts on Xpenology do not generate correct um, serial or uh, this thing mac address so um so here's the process the first thing i do is um go into dev sda login as tc first with p at sign sswzrd zero rd as password and then um i go cf disk dev sda so that wipes out all the partitions and i make it into free that allows me to use it as a cache. Um, second thing I do is fire up RPI loader, which then gives me the extensions. So you can see these are the build um, build availability slots, and you can select which one. So I've selected this one, which is um, uh, this one. So that one is DS, uh, sorry, not this one, DS3622, that's the one I selected, all right, so this one, so DS3622XSP7014221.8, I've not tried the other ones, uh, this one seems to work well, so I'm sticking with this one. <clears throat> so the next thing we do is... Go to an upload slot, update slot, update the thing. Uh, do it twice just in case. And um, the update will go through its cycle and then say it's updated. Um, I then do a full upgrade. And that will do tiny core it build, the full upgrade will be done. Please make sure you're 1 GB. You can see my image is 49 megs. Um, I then, uh, it does its backup thing. I then do another update just in case. 
and um, it continues from there. So the next thing we do is identify USB so that identifies oh the first thing we do is do a serial gen and this will generate an invalid serial so you'll have to replace the serial in user config.json so I just make a note of it and then identify USB and then set a map as usual just make sure it has six slots because this is a five hard disks one SSD situation and then update the config values okay then we do a VR and you'd replace it with the real Synology DS3622XS DS, uh, Plus serial number and MAC address. And you will get those uh, from the online on the web. You should be able to find somebody with a, like on eBay with a, like a snapshot of the back panel of 36422XS Plus. And you will just copy that and put it in your online account. Um, you can have the same serial number across multiple online accounts. And then I just do the build as usual. So RP I load a build by 7014228. Then I go to findus.synology.com and basically just follow the prompts. It'll install it on SDA, no problem. So that's the um, build sequence. And then um, basically done at this point. It'll boot into working system. I just need to plug in a keyboard and uh, select the um, USB boot, not the SATA boot. So make sure you select this option, this um, Red Pill DS3622XS Plus uh, USB Robos. That's the one you want. And that's once you select it once, it's always there permanently, so you can just continue with it. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, and I just hit reboot. And that converts it to full uh, 3.6 um, Synology uh, machine. So let me go into control panel. And oh yeah, I wanted to do that. So enable memory compression is what I selected. And power schedule. Uh, no, restart automatically when uh, power supply issue is fixed. You'll also select that in BIOS. So you'll have this option in the BIOS. Make sure it's selected on. Uh, oh yeah, and update and restore. Make sure that since it is a 3 series, there's always 711 available. So we know on that. So I continue to use 701. And, um, oh yeah. Uh, storage manager I go into storage manager and let me show you what I've done so the 36422 is a 6 uh, and it's a 12 slot so we've got 6 populated because the Thicus N5500 is a 6 slot machine um, so I've got basically a storage pool um, which is a RAID 6 storage pool and then I have um yeah so i've got ssd cache enabled so i've got read only cache basic without data protection and this uses the whole slot cache of 32 gb um as my ssd read cache for these guys and these are five uh, four terabyte uh, hard disks and you can see it's labeled them as Thicus because it's a uh, Thicus. And it's got RAID 6, MAX 12. We've got, of course, got only 6 slots. Um, yeah, and you can run SSD cache analysis, which will tell you um, what the deal is. Um, and that's my thing. I've got. SDV32, which is the cheapo, uh, the cheapo um, DOM, SATA DOM, which I got off Amazon. So it'll take any SATA DOM. Just make sure you splice the cables with the heat shrink. Um, that's about it. Um, I've got a bunch of things installed. So I installed a bunch of things which are useful. 
So yeah, this advanced multimedia extensions will only work if you have a correct serial number. So make sure you have a correct serial number. You will need a legit serial number. I've got audio station, I've got antivirus, I've got um, document viewer and all the usual stuff installed. Um, yeah, and I've got auto update for these guys turned on, so. All right, so that's uh, N5500 to um, Synology NAS conversion video.